Hey you guys, it is that time. Pick a card, pick a story where in one of these decks there should be a story in it for you. Uh, so I'm going to hold up each deck to the screen and I want you to see if it's resonating with you. Um, so is your story here in deck number one? Okay. Is your story in deck number two? Could your story be here? Or is your story in deck number three? Which deck is resonating with you? All right, so we are going to go ahead and start with deck number one. We have the Knight of Wands. Ten of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Magician, the King of Wands, Page of Pinnacles, Nine of Wands, Six of Wands. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm starting off with the messages as far as you guys wanting to do something. There's something that you're starting to become motivated about, but you're kind of shy or afraid to move forward in a direction that will possibly bring you abundance or uh, posterity. Um, I, I feel too like a lot of this is relating to being self-employed. Like a lot of you guys are thinking about there and you keep, it's like you're, you keep teasing with the idea of doing this. Um, I feel like you're keeping your distance. Maybe you're kind of studying or observing rather other people who have their own businesses, um, asking people about their st statistics. Um, I, I feel like you're studying somebody for answers. You're looking at their followers. You're um, engaging. You're, you're, you're doing a lot of things, but I, I don't feel like it's too... I don't feel like your intent is ill. It, it just looks like you want to learn. Um, you're you're being a student, but almost like in the shadows or something. You don't want to let someone know that you're you're observing them and studying them. Um, maybe you're afraid, you know, that they don't want you asking questions. Um, maybe you're afraid of you know, being shot down and told that you can't do something. Um, but I feel like you're, you're motivated about mainly starting your own business. Now, it could be anything, something that you're wanting to do. Maybe all of a sudden you're like, um, it's more so too like something in regards to arts. Like maybe all of a sudden you feel like you want to um, work in, in acting, film and television. Um, especially too, it's almost like you don't necessarily even want to be the, the celebrity, the star. You just want to be the background person. You want to learn how to operate those lights. You want to be a boom operator. Um, you maybe want to do the screenwriting. You want to write the story. It's like you want silent fame, if that makes sense. And I hope you guys can... You guys can probably hear me. My kids are like going nuts watching anime. They're having such a good time. <laughs> um, <laughs> they forget that I'm doing reading sometimes. But um, so I don't know if you guys can even hear them, but I can. <laughs> so um, but like I was saying, it's, it's like you guys are uh, wanting like silent fame. Um, you want recognition for your behind the scene works, just like at the Oscars. When they call the people get nominated for film editing, it's like, who? Like, that's some big shit. Like, I get geeked about that. Like, yes, 
who thought of those lights, who, who, who thought of those angles, who thought to piece those things together and to, and to put that music in the background, who chose, who, who choice, whose choice was that? You know, so I get like film geeky about stuff like that. And I kind of feel like that's what you're wanting. Like you, it's not necessarily that you want to be in a spotlight, but you want to be recognized for your behind the scenes work. Um, I also feel too that you're, you're, you're kind of tempted. You're like, let me see if I can do this. Um, I'm motivated. Something's motivating you. Something's burning inside of you. I feel like there's a fire, like a fire has been lit within you. And you are stepping out and you're, you're doing something. So it's like you're, it's a big or a heavy responsibility, but I feel like you want to do this. Um... This is you following your path, too. Um, I also feel like if you could see the details, I just kind of like the way she's looking at. It looks like there are tarot cards that are like spread out in front of her and she's following whatever the path is. So maybe some of you have had a reading or maybe some of you have been doing your own reading um, and you're just kind of like, let me do you know follow this path what it go by the advice of these cards but i just kind of feel like you're um following breadcrumbs or like clues have been left out for you and you're just kind of alone going on your own journey or your own path you might also be walking away from everything that you know to take a risk so for some of you too this could be something in regards to uh relocating like you're packing up everything and you're like i'm doing something that nobody ever said i would do or that my my family wouldn't do like if you live in a small town and um I'm going to use the, the city Alcoa, Tennessee. I, I use that town because I have family there. I know it's a little small part of Tennessee. So let's just say you live in a little small town of Alcoa and you know, you've know you known those same people for 20, 30 years. And, you know, people are happy there. They don't think about what's outside of Alcoa. But you're the only person that's always wondered What's it like in, in the Big Apple? What if I pursued modeling? What if I did this and that? What if I was a business owner? You know, you you say that to people and they're like, you done lost your get damn mind. I'm just playing. <laughs> Sorry, cousins. I got cousins out there. They be like, I do not have an accent. I'm like, no, y'all kind of do. <laughs> but um, seriously, it's like, um, <laughs> I know that was a terrible accent. But it's just like, um, they're like, what are you thinking? Like, it's, it's so everything's fine why why would you want to go to new york you know so i just feel like some an opportunity is opening up for you and you're you're like i, I think i want to take it it's almost like i'm i feel like someone has like a ticket somewhere it's like a one-way ticket and it's like i'll take it like somebody is just like slamming their money on the counter like i'll take it and it's like a you don't even know where you're going or where the destiny is you just want to do it um, I'm getting like a lot of energy of the fool because I feel like somebody is stepping out on faith without planning much. Um, maybe there's been a lot of mental planning, a lot of hesitation, but now I just kind of feel like someone is over that. Um, also, for the time frame, I'm, I know I do these weekly, but I'm starting to feel like for the pick a card, I don't really want to use a time frame. Um, because a lot of times I feel like, too, these are, um, what do you call it? Eternal messages, you know, timeless. So I'm feeling like that for, for the pick of cards. Now, it does seem, too, if I must add a time frame, that something could be happening uh, moving into Taurus season um, or doing some sort of important transit for you. Um, now some of you, I do feel like there is this desire to put on some sort of show. Um, but it's more so like stage acting. I'm still not getting like someone who's wanting like Hollywood. I'm just looking at how these people are surrounded by like, like shadow. They're like in these shadows and they're doing things. Um, somebody's like a puppeteer, 
um, I'm getting like a ventriloquist, an illusionist, someone who plays with the minds of their audience. You know, they like to entertain. So that is basically a lot of what I'm picking up as far as career. Now, um, in the case of a love situation, I'm feeling like some of you are kind of hesitant when it comes to moving forward with someone or maybe someone is looking at you that way. Like they don't fully trust you for whatever reason. Um, could be dealing with uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag, maybe a Gemini. Um, but there is um, some amount of hesitation. It could also be due to some sort of um, age, age gap. Um, I do feel like you need to be careful. I'm just kind of looking at the energies. Like this relationship, because of so many wands coming out, um, this might be something that's just purely physical or sexual. Not saying that it doesn't have the potential to develop into something else. But, you know, I, the magician here showing up next to this uh, creepy looking guy. You know, somebody's got something up their sleeve. I don't know about the, the true intentions of somebody, especially if it's an older, younger situation where um, the older person is just like fresh meat. You know, they don't know what they're doing. They're young. I can mold this person to being the type of person that I want them to be, whether you're a man or a woman. It doesn't matter. The older person is kind of feeling like somebody is they're looking. It's like almost like they're looking for a project. Um maybe somebody's fed up with people their own age or it could be that somebody is just a slickster and knows that they can't get away with certain things with people their age so they're purposely spotting out younger people um so be careful of that uh, because i feel like too this person is very good at um changing the subject or causing some sort of deflection from the the situation here this person is very clever you also might be someone who studies the occult I'm, I'm getting someone too who's practicing rituals and now please I'm not saying that this is negative stuff as far as someone practicing occult or doing rituals that's just this person's way of life um, the only red flags or warnings that I would give is just make sure that someone isn't, you know, pulling a fast one over you or trying to, you know, pull the wool over your eyes, basically. Um, this is also good for career because I'm seeing something manifest. Um, this is also someone who's very good at um, selling their product or service, um, very good at convincing others, talking people into doing certain things or purchasing certain things. Um, this is also someone who could be a good storyteller, like um, a lawyer or um, what do you call it? A salesman where you have to tell white lies all the time. I'm also feeling like there is someone that is manipulating weather. Now, I don't know if this is someone who is like coming off like a literal mad scientist, like maybe part of your job description is, you know, doing certain manipulations to the weather. Um, or if Oh my God, I'm sorry. The kids are kind of distracting me a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I lost what my place in, in thought, what I was getting at. Um, someone who's either manipulating the weather, manipulating energies. Um, oh, the, the other thing that I was thinking about. I don't know if you've ever heard of this thing called cloud bursting. Um, that's like one of the small exercises to, um, to work on your whatever manifestation. And you can, it's like when you look up at the sky and you see like a cluster of clouds, can you, uh, separate them? Oh, y'all, we should try and do that whenever we see chemtrails. We should, um, all look up there together. 
<laughs> and just start start separating them, causing them to separate so we can see what's, what's hidden in, in the sky. But um, now too, maybe someone is the call, the, the, the uh, what do you call it? This is someone who creates those chemtrails, the manufacturer um, or the, the person who flies around, the pilot who, you know, sprays the stuff. So someone could be the cause of that. So I'm, I'm getting something in regards to uh, whether I'm Manipulation. Now, maybe you're one who is um, a whistleblower, though, and talk about things of that sort, uh, uncovering uh, secrets of society and things of that sort. Uh, spiritually, uh, I feel like you're developing. I feel like there are still things that you're learning about. Um, in order to become some sort of a master, if this is something in regards to a cult or if it's just becoming uh, more advanced in spiritual spirituality, uh, you need to overcome your fears here. You, you're afraid to, to research certain things because I, I feel like you think your morals are going to get in the way. So you're like, well, I don't want to do nothing about that. I don't want to know nothing about that. I just want to focus on this, which is fine. But I would say it's always good to just to study. You don't have to practice something, but, you know, just do a little research on it. You don't have to get all deep in it, but just, you know, because I feel like you're afraid. You're afraid to to take a peek at something. Um, and I get it, but I just still feel like you'll be a well, more of a well-rounded, knowledgeable person if you can get past your fears and whatever it is that you're afraid to peek into. Um, also, there's something else I was going to say about the spiritual path. Well, just basically, it just looks like you're learning. There's still a lot of learning to do. And I do feel like you are on the right path and things are going to unfold for you along the way. Uh, I also feel that there is a need for you to um, to just kind of allow things to play out, to go with the flow of things. Um, you know, I just feel like when when doorways open, that means it's for you. If you're having a hard time trying to reach a certain destination, maybe you need to alter your your route. Um, one more thing I want to say about love before I move on to deck number two is that I, I pick up someone who is watching you, but they're very shy. They um, check you out on social media. They feel like maybe you're very popular. Um, they, they view you as being someone that is probably grounded down to earth and fun to be around, but they are just not really ready to approach you yet. Eventually they will be, they're working on that. Um, so I say, I don't want to say give it time. I'm not telling you to wait for somebody you don't even know is watching you. Um, but I'm just giving you a heads up that you are being observed someone's definitely observing you and they're in disguise they might even be following you under um, a fake profile yeah so that is all that I have for deck number one let's move on to deck number two we have the uh, what is this I'm not used to this deck the something of pinnacles. Oh, it's the nine of pinnacles. <laughs> I was like trying to get the energy from what this person was doing. Um, forgive me, Roman numerals. Um, Ace of cups. The world. The seven of swords. The chariot. We have the central issue as the temperance, king of wands, and the king of cups. I think this is a Phoenistra deck, I think. 
I've had it for a long time. I just like never use it because the colors are so weird and muted, but I just like to collect decks. Um, okay, so with the temperance here as the central issue, um, I feel like some of you may be healing. I see a couple of things. I see healing, but I also feel like there's something going on about two different energies that you're working with. I almost feel like you are in the middle of these two people. And I feel like maybe both of these people are drawn to you. And you might be in a situation where you're like, if only I could merge both of these personalities together, I would have one perfect man or woman. Um, because there's something about this person that you like. You like this person because they're um, emotional. You like them because they're sensitive. You like this person because they're intuitive. Um, there's a lot of things that you're drawn to about this person. This person loves music. You guys are, this person is very passionate. This person is willing to cry in front of you. If you're, you know, if this is a guy, like you might be very emotional and a type of person that, you know, you get so passionate that you cry in front of the woman, but the woman, she, she, you know, that's sexy to her. She's like, I, that's beautiful. I love a man that is so passionate. Um, and then there's something about this guy that, or girl that you might like. You know, they're fiery, they're passionate. Again, there is, I'm getting passionate energy. Um, but this person is also maybe very independent. Maybe they think very differently from other people. Um, this is the type of person who, I feel like it's something very unusual about them, but you're attracted to them. You're like, you're a little weird, but I think it's attractive. Um, I think it's because they like to walk, walk to the beat of their own drum and they don't really care what people have to say about them. Um, and two, this person is more assertive or aggressive. And you're like, I like that. I like how assertive this person is. This person is a little more shy. Um, and if only I could just blend these two energies together. Uh, I do feel like you're attracted to both people, though. Now, spiritually, this could be just some sort of, of spiritual connection. Like these are your fellow light workers and you guys like to come together and um, talk about metaphysical things, spirituality. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like for some of you, there's something going on where you're wanting to merge two different energies together. Um, now also what this could be is that there is something about you and this person that shouldn't work, but it does work, especially because of the different modalities, water and fire. You would think water puts out fire, but it does create steam. Um, but there's something about these two modalities that work. Um, now you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, or Aquarius. And you're taking your time. If this is a matter of choosing between two people, I feel like you're just taking your time. You're relaxing. Um, it'll happen when it happens. You're in no rush. Um, I also see somebody who's trying to be more connected with nature. Someone who is tapping more into a higher realm, um, someone who is working on healing themselves as far as their eating habits, meditation, just doing things that lift up the uplift the spirit. And I also feel like there's something in regards to someone having a spirit bird or someone who's like sitting out in nature and saying, I, I bet I can communicate with the with the insects or the birds or life around me and you, you know you're really just kind of sitting outdoors and mentally trying to connect with animals um so I'm getting someone who's like a 
pretty much a free spirit. I also see someone who is a businessman or woman that is independent, that is self-sufficient. Uh, I also feel like there's a lot of self-love going on, um, which in at some point attracts someone else into your life. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of... Um, I feel like you're in a place of peace and satisfaction. Uh, financially, you're doing well. Emotionally, you're doing well. Uh, there is some sort of phase that is coming to an end, and then you'll be starting a new chapter in your life here. You also may be doing some sort of traveling. Now, what I do see... I almost feel like two people are conspiring to come and visit, but it's a secret. Maybe it's a surprise birthday party, or maybe it's just a surprise visit, whether it's lovers or family members. Um, but I feel like these two people may be uh, communicating and they're conspiring to come and visit you. Um, and they're trying to figure out how can we find, find out, you know, the time that They'll be home, you know, when is a good time of year? How can we make sure, you know, we're not being suspicious? So I feel like for some of you, this is about someone making plans for a secret trip. Now, you might be doing this. It could go the other way around. Maybe you are conspiring some sort of secret getaway or some sort of secret trip. Um, now, two... I'm seeing a possibility of trying to work out uh, or establish a long distance relationship. Someone is trying to hide something or cover something up. So just be careful about that. I might have to clarify that because I'm not, there's, there's someone that is, there's a little bit of dishonesty coming through in this card here. Um, I almost feel like too, someone may try and do something to your car on purpose. So the only thing that I would think of off the top of my head is that thing where, you know, you, the girlfriend, she gets jealous of somebody. So she either keys up the car uh, or put sugar in a tank. Um, so I'm feeling like someone may be trying to d do something or like someone like poking holes in a tire. I'm, I'm feeling like someone is doing something for either revenge or jealousy or an, an act of rage. I'm also noticing all the flames behind this person. So maybe it's something is like temporary insanity or something. Uh, I'm thinking about Angela Bassett and waiting to exhale you know she has that moment where she just like loads all his clothes up in the car and sets the entire car on fire you know so i almost feel like somebody is having um maybe a little meltdown um so i i say watch your temper i don't know what the person did but you know <laughs> make sure you're not doing anything that can get you sent to jail um let me see what this uh, Seven of Swords is talking about. I'm also seeing a possibility of someone being followed. So be careful when you travel alone, whether you're grocery shopping or going to the mall or leaving from somebody's home just be careful look check that rear view mirror every now and then make sure you're not being followed now if you work in some sort of industry where it requires that then you know that you got to watch your back <laughs> but um overall just make sure that you're not being followed it might be a jealous ex you know who knows they want to see if you're you know visiting a, in, in a new relationship and they're like following you and trying to see whose house you're going to. Wow, okay, so this is coming up again here. Um, 
So there's something, I'm seeing it as a couple of ways. If you're in a relationship, there could be something sneaky going on where someone has been secretly visiting and taking trips to see another person. Um, whether it's you or it's happening to you, if you and this is if you don't feel like this is happening at all, then please disregard that. Um, I feel I feel as of late that I really need to let you guys know if something is not resonating with you, do not incorporate that. This is only to confirm. You're like listening, waiting to see if certain things confirm with what you already felt, you know. So if you already felt like something suspicious was going on with your partner, then this is, you know, confirmation. Yeah, somebody does seem to be sneaking out to go see another person or there seems to be um, sneaking and flirting or someone. There's temptation. The Empress, she she's the the forbidden fruit that this person is sneaking off to see or be with you know maybe she's not even trying to do anything on purpose she's minding her own business and this person is just like you know nobody told this person to do what they're going to do and she doesn't maybe she doesn't even know that this person is in a relationship or maybe she does you know it, it but it does look like there is temptation and someone sneaking out to visit someone i also feel like someone's been thinking and plotting and planning for a long time how they were going to capture someone. Now, just saying that alone bothers me just a little bit. So, again, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but this is just a red flag. Like, for instance, a matter of fact, now that I'm talking about it, it, it did um, ring a bell. My daughter told me today that some guy was looking at her kind of weird. And we had to have like a little talk about what would you would what would you have done if you did notice that they were staring a little bit too long? You know, what was your next plan? You know, and it's maybe there needs to be some sort of escape plan or a plan of defense talked about with your child. Um, you know, maybe those things need to be discussed. Like she asked me, could she get some pepper spray? And I'm like, yeah, we'll definitely go and get some pepper spray for just in case. And I was like, matter of fact, I need some for myself. So there, something could be an error. Not saying that something's going to happen, but someone out there might, their intentions might not be the best. They might be watching. Maybe they just, maybe it's just a matter of somebody waiting for the mailman to deliver package. Some creep in the neighborhood sitting up there waiting for the mailman to make their deliveries saying who who's got packages and no matter if it's nothing but a box full of makeup some fool wants to come and and snatch it up only to be disappointed you know but whatever the case it, it could be someone planning on um taking your car don't leave your keys in a car um lock your doors when you when you get outside your car because i keep seeing that that vehicle um Make sure that you, if you got new plates with a new number, make sure that you discard the old plates, you know. Make sure that people aren't stealing any type of information off of your car, the VIN number. Um, I don't think they can really do that much anymore, but um, still, there's there's things you just, I feel like maybe you need to take precautions. If you're traveling um, across the world, um, maybe you can't trust all the people who you think are tourists or people just looking for tourists to slip up and be goofy so that they could take advantage of them. So just be careful of that. Um, now what I'm also seeing something in regards to, yeah, some sort of messages that have been exchanged between, between two people in secret. Um, and it's been happening over and over again. So the, there is some sort of hidden desire, attraction. So because I'm seeing cards that seem like temptation, both of these seem like temptation and desire. So there is a need for us. Uh, this that makes me feel like somebody must be doing something they don't have no business doing, AKA in a relationship. So, um, yeah. That's basically all that I'm getting for uh, deck number two. So just just be careful, um, especially when you go out traveling here. 
All right, so um, let's go on to deck number three. We have the sun, the devil, the seven of swords, again, yikes, mm -mm. the ten of wands, the seven of cups, oh my goodness, seven of coins, three sevens. Uh, the, I was going to say, it is, seven of wands. Okay, so we got four sevens out now. Very significant. Um, and a nine of cups. So first off, I feel like all these sevens, there's a need to, there's a need for discernment. Um, there's a need for you to uh, take a step outside of your current situation. You need to see something from from a higher perspective. You need to step outside of your body, outside of the box um, to, to figure some things out. Um, there's a need for you to detach from, I almost wanna say detach from reality um, or detach from an illusion, whatever it is, there's a need for you to detach. You need to think about your health uh, from a different perspective. You need to think about your finances. Um, you need to think about your uh, pra uh, everyday practical activities. Um, you need to look, think about in, uh, what do you call it? Protecting your home some type of way. Um, I'm getting something in regards to spirit. I'm not necessarily getting spiritual attack, but well, in a way, yeah, because uh, the devil is out and the seven of swords. Uh, so you might need to prepare or protect your, your spirit in your home, your environment. There's a need to protect. Uh, in regards to love, there's a need for you to see things clearly because you might be looking at an illusion. Uh, there could be some sort of self-sabotage or self-deception going on with you. There's something that you are not paying attention to. So if you are seeing those, and I just saw 3737 on my timer. If there is something that you're not really paying attention to, like you keep seeing the synchronicities, um, I feel like that is wanting to get your attention. Sometimes I know um, those numbers can represent... Like sometimes you think it's saying, hey, good job. But a lot of times I, I'm feeling like it's saying, no, hey, you're not paying attention to something. There's something that I'm trying to show you or warn you about. Um, so if you're seeing synchronicities, make sure that you're paying attention. Um, I, I feel like the divine is trying to get your attention. Uh, listen to what people are saying. Look, in, look at your surroundings. Are you vulnerable? Are you leaving yourself out to get set up? What are you doing? Are you leaving your doors unlocked? Are you inviting a negative energy into your space? I'm trying to pinpoint this for you guys because I feel like something's going on that you're not seeing or recognizing um, because maybe you're too involved in life, too involved in something where you need to kind of pull back. You really need to pull back with something. Something's going on. Um, there may be a need to meditate. There may be a need to cleanse. Um, you might be too close to a situation to recognize for what it is. You know, see how the sun is so bright. You're being blinded and look at how the devil is being illuminated. Like you're standing right so close to this energy that you don't recognize the lies that are being told to you. You don't recognize uh, the deception that is before you. Um, someone may be trying to get close to you for some sort of ulterior motive. Be careful if there's a new love coming into your life because this is coming off as romantic temptation here. 
Um, be careful if you're making any business deals. If you're a whistleblower, be careful who you're sharing information with. This is making me think of Nipsey. Uh, I, I didn't know who that was, you know, too much. I, I, I follow Lauren London on Instagram and every time I see their pictures, I'd be like, oh, they so cute. Who's that, her boyfriend? You know, I didn't really know that, you know, he was into music and that he was into his community. Um, I was very, very ignorant to who this man was. And I know some people are like, stop glorifying an ex game member. I, man, look, if you want to look at stuff like that, you can, everybody can plan to go to hell, okay? Because, you know, that's, that's just not how, that's not how the most high works, you know? And I can, I'm saying that because I feel like I am a part of the most high, you know, I'm expression of the most high and so are you. You know, this is what we all need to do. We need to claim that inner God, that self God, and take some sort of responsibility that helps you evolve, you know, and I can only share with you what I've experienced. So, but I feel like um, what I was saying, be careful who you share information with. I was getting ready to say with him, um, I know he had a lot of people probably in the circle and he probably thought he was cool with some of these people and some people it's like maybe he thought he knew who, who his enemies were and I know he had just said something about his enemies um, and lo and behold, you know, someone has taken him out. Um, who knows who, why that guy killed him? I'm still, I'm still a conspiracy theorist. I don't think that was gang related. I think that was still some high level shit. Somebody done paid that man to do that. And now he's, uh, um, pleading insanity, please. You know, so I feel like, um, there's a, a lot of, a lot of things going on. You can't trust everybody that is around you. Uh, if you are a light worker or if you're a whistleblower, be careful who you're sharing this information with. Just in a nutshell, maybe you're a target. And you know what? Honestly, as a light worker, that's the risk you take. That's the risk you take. But all I can say is that, you know, some of you, somebody's too close to a situation to recognize it for what it is. Uh, whether even if this is a job, like the type of work that you're doing, who are you working for? What type of, what type of conditions are you working under what is the job description what are they having you do is it are what you doing does it sit right with your soul you know are you doing something where you feel like you're being forced into do it or like you you're selling your soul for something so just kind of be careful about what you're getting involved with don't walk into it blind if you want to if you know exactly what you're doing okay i'm just saying don't walk into something blindly because I feel like you're going to get burned here. You're going to get burned. Um, now also here, and then too, I don't know something about this devil and the way he's, um, well, it's actually someone sitting on an hourglass, but just the, the way it looks to me just looks like somebody is getting fucked over, basically. Um, I don't know what you're thinking about investing into, um, especially if it's some... If you've joined some sort of uh, money level marketing, I'm looking at this, this triangle looks like a pyramid. Be careful you're not getting involved in some sort of pyramid scheme or uh, what do you call it, Ponzi? Ponzi? Some, it's something that you may be getting yourself into and you are only looking at like, you're like, but you know, we, we don't have to do this. All it says is that we have to deposit $5. And if we could get each person just to do that and blah, blah, blah. And what, you know, I saw so-and-so and they're driving in a Mercedes right now. You know, you're getting so caught up into an illusion that you, you're being ripped off. You're being blinded. Um, this can even go with, you know, reporting. Um, you know, are you really selling the true story or are you really trying to just mark your territory by any means necessary? Um, getting established by any means necessary. So there's something... Some of you are looking at it like, I'm just trying to make lemonade out of um, lemons. Um, but at what cost, you know? Uh, there, There's definitely something going on. I almost feel like maybe you could be working for an industry where you know you're pumping out lies for people. Um, like you work at a, a factory that, like I just saw that thing where they're manufacturing meat. And like it's making it look like steak 
and they're like just pressing meat scraps together and pasting them together with glue and selling it as if it's some, you know, nice cut of steak and it's not. Um, you know, does that sit well with you if that's the type of industry that you're working in? Um, are you underpaying people? Are you making people work for for pennies? Um, while you sit up in a mansion? You know, just anything that could be going on. Are you a reporter and, and you don't really believe the story that you're selling, but the boss is like, just put it out there. Just put it out there. You know, it's, I just feel like there's a lot of things going on and you're getting sucked up into something that you don't know what you're getting into. Please just kind of examine what you're getting involved with. Uh, before you make any final decisions about, you know, the choices that you're making. Just kind of weigh, I feel like you need to weigh your options. You need to really examine things. Um, two, I, I, I don't like how it looks as if someone is sneaking through this person's window. Um, be careful that... It, you're, you know, if you're an exhibitionist, I get it, but maybe you need to shut them blinds. You know, maybe just some super ill neighbor is looking in and making some sort of plot and they know your whole schedule or they go to sleep at this time. They're blah, 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 blah. You know, um, maybe they're planning on coming into your home or something, which is really bothering me because I'm just like, I just don't like this. So make sure your doors are locked. Uh, make sure your windows are locked. Um, I feel like, dude, we'll see, like, had your kids, had your wife, had your, you know, I just kind of feel like that, uh, because I feel like you have a, a, a prowler, um, like a, a cat burglar or a ninja, maybe someone is planning a heist, hell, I don't know, now, if you are, that's, I won't say nothing, that's just, <laughs> you want to set it off, <laughs> just know what you're getting into, okay, okay, Cleo, but um, seriously, it's like, um, it, it looks like someone is having to crawl through tight spaces. Make sure it's no creeper in the light, in the vent or something. I just don't like all these creepy looking images that are coming out. Um, now too, this could be talking about having um, a heavy price to pay. Someone might be hazed, especially if you're in college. Now I don't know about all that fraternity stuff, but maybe somebody is daring the other person to go steal someone's trophy. Um, or, you know, I, I dare you to go steal their handbook or, I, I, you know, something that is of value or of importance here. Um, I'm also getting, you know, this can be a spirit, like I said earlier, a spiritual attack. So just make, sh make sure that you're prayed up. <laughs> make sure you got your little bath cleanses ready. Get your little salt. Put your little salt around the house. <laughs> Keep them enemies away. Um, hmm. I almost feel too like, and you know, no offense to, you know, our service brothers and sisters but it's almost like somebody is signing up for the military and you don't know what you're getting into. Like you've been pumped up that you're fighting for your country and then you get over there and find out that it's all an illusion. You're not, you're, you're killing innocent people. This war has nothing to do with nothing. In fact, it's nothing but a gigantic distraction for something much bigger to come. Something's getting ready to happen. Um, with our health, something getting ready to happen, um, you know, within the sky. You know, you guys see I've been posting lately certain things that's, that are seen in the sky and then we got the sun coming out. So some sort of truth could also be coming out or maybe a liar is going to, is getting ready to be exposed. You know, so there there's a lot of potential things going on here. Now, also what I was getting... Um, I mean, the, for if this is talking about love, like really, I honestly don't like this energy for a love reading. Um, I feel like you need to protect yourself. Like, I feel like you don't know who's getting ready to come into your home. 
This person might be a liar, a thief, a deceiver. Um, you know, again, and I'm, I was joking earlier, but seriously, like watch your children um, or the type of energy that's around them. Not saying that they would do something to your child, but maybe their behavior. You know, is this someone who is an alcoholic? You know, it, what what type of life are you bringing into your home? And I'm not judging because trust and believe I've experienced this. So I'm just giving you a heads up or a warning. Like if you can prevent something from happening, then please, you know, recognize what is what what's going on. Recognize what you're getting into, who you're bringing into your home. Are you getting involved with a, a, a drug dealer? Somebody who's always having to watch their back. You know, are you is your house uh, going to be a place to be set up for for gunshots for a raid? Um, you know, are you dealing with with gangsters? You know, just anything mafia, mafia ties. Matter of fact, I almost feel like if you are in a mafia or got mafia ties or gang affiliations, be careful. Because I feel like someone is coming to invade your space, whatever that means. Um, I just feel like someone is coming to invade your space. Um, I mean, hell, we can either even put that on, uh, turn that uh, towards military. Uh, what do what do you call it? How they want to police the states? Um, there could be an alter ulterior motive to bring out the, um, why can't I think of the name of it? When they come out to, to police this, uh, your streets. Oh, I know somebody, I know about 30 people gonna name it. But <laughs> oh my God, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Um, maybe some sort of bill is gonna be passed uh, for to police states. And you know what? I'm sorry, you guys. I just got to say something about Jesse Smollett just to um, put something on your mind. Nobody out there think it's odd the way all these political people are getting involved in this. Like, seriously, this is like a public lynching. This is like an assassination. Like, I know about R. Kelly because I went to the high school where he, he was acting like a perv, you know, and, and heard the stories when back in 94, you 90, 94, 93, 92. You know, I've 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 heard stories about the girls that were with R. Kelly and got warned like, girl, R. Kelly be pulling up here. So, you know, I know about his pervy past. But his recent behavior for the past 10, 15 years, what if the man is innocent for the past 15 years, rather? You know, and he's being, there is a smear campaign. Like at first I was like, oh, R. Kelly. But now that all this stuff is going on, you know, especially with uh, our melanated men, something's very bizarre is just going on um, with all this public lynching, you know. I'm just saying, think about it. Um, I still personally don't never did think that Jesse did what he did. I mean, I, I just kind of had to do that reading that time because I was like, oh, something not sitting right. And I so I decided to do a reading for him. Actually, I've done another reading on celebrities, but I just didn't pre release it. And it turned out to be true, too, with Chris Brown, that last trouble that he got into. Um, turned out that he he was actually I got that he was kind of mixing the truth. Um, but that basically he would be found innocent. But, um, yeah, I'm just saying all that to say it's something weird about how all these political people are getting in on Jesse. And I'm like, come on, why y'all coming out that hard? You guys saying, oh, he's elite and he can pay his way out. Jesse Smollett is on Empire and that is it. Like, really? He don't have that much clout. And I'm a fan. I'm a, I apologize for if, if he was watching or his family. I don't mean to put him down. All I'm saying is he's not that serious that he's so uppity that he's above the law. And I think he knows that. So I think it's something bigger going on um, that people are just like, I think people are proving themselves to be, and I'm sorry about ranting. Um, I feel like people are proving themselves to be sheep by immediately becoming emotionally invested in everything that's going on and just like flocking to the screen and jumping on a bandwagon. Oh, everybody's like, J 
Jesse Smollett, yes he did it, hang him, oh, so-and-so did something, run after him, go after, you know, everybody's just like, their attention is quickly being shifted so easily, like without questioning things. And it just amazes me, even like all these celebrities getting on board, like saying public opinions, nobody is just like, well, I don't know him like that. So until other further evidence, everybody was like, no, he did it. I'm just like, this is weird. You know, I just think it's very unusual. And I almost feel like somebody is somewhere sitting back laughing at how easily people fall prey to anything that you put on the news it's like nobody's dissecting it nobody's questioning things and I, I just feel like so many things are a distraction so I say all of that to say that you guys there looks like this is a big illusion going on with the sevens all these sevens coming out you're being asked to kind of step back and reflect the, these 7777 seven, seven, seven. All these divine, I mean, that's a number of divinity. The seven, on the seventh day, God rested. He sat back and observed, right? So I feel like there's something going on where you need to take a rest from whatever you're doing, been doing, and just kind of observe things. Listen quietly. Um, are you thinking logically? Are you making the right choices? You know, all of that. So I hope this has helped uh, you guys. Please feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you all.